All right, here we are. I've mixed all my uh, my two parts, A and B, and uh, this has got about an eight minute uh, work time, which is already starting to cure now because I can feel the heat inside the bucket. And uh, so I'm just going to go start by doing one side. Now, unfortunately, this is the side you can't see, but because of the uh, of the fast work time, I'll just uh, go at this real nice and quick. Now this is only 10 ounces so this probably won't take me more than five minutes to apply. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I've got this post underneath because I don't have a head for it. Hopefully this will hold. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> uh, good times. Now this is uh it's almost like using uh something akin to like uh fiberglass. Doesn't smell it does have an odor to it, but it's not half as bad as actually it's not even a tenth of what fiberglass smells like. So far out of all the stuff I've used from Smooth On, uh this has probably got the strongest odor out of everything. So Well, the shell doesn't have to be super thick, but it does have to cover all the important parts. Now I won't be doing the spikes because the spikes, the uh, the actual uh, the silicone rubber is thick enough in the spikes that they really won't shift from uh, what position they are now. So I'm not worried about that. But I do want to get a nice even coat. This stuff's really starting to get warm. So I do want to speed up because since the first time I've ever used Plasti Paste I'm not sure exactly how much uh, how much time. It says an 8 minute pot life but is that till it's uh, you can't apply it anymore, or is that just a general consensus? So I'm just gonna go and get as much of this stuff applied as possible. Now this stuff's supposed to cure, uh, according to their uh, their charts, in an hour and a half. So what I'm going to do is, as soon as I'm done this batch, I'm going to start another. That way, I can just do it all and then let it cure. And come back in like two hours, testing for rigidity in between. Guys, this stuff's got a kind of an olivey look to it. If olivey can be used as a uh, as a descriptive term, it goes on pretty easy. Just don't want to be going over that area too many times because it does start to pull up, which I'll leave uh, sharp little uh, plastic bits. One thing I did want to do is get a nice thick coat at the base where my uh, silicone rubber is the thinnest. This stuff is starting to get uh, 
a little harder to uh, trawl out. So it's coming, uh, it's coming near the end of its pot life. There's almost uh, very little heat coming from the bucket now. But I do want to get as much of this stuff on there as I can because I don't want to waste it. Half inch to three eighths is a good. Uh, it's a good thickness gauge for a mother mold. Only going to do one side at a time though. That way, once one side is dry, I can go ahead with, uh, with a release agent up the middle. Yeah, this stuff is really getting sticky. The trick is going to be seeing how easy this stuff comes out of its bucket once it's sealed and once it's done. Hopefully it's easy, because everything else that I've used from them so far is not difficult. Because I've been reusing these buckets. Man, this stuff is really sticky. Trying to scrape as much out of here as I can. And I think this is almost it for the, uh, the 10 ounces that I mixed, which gets used up pretty quick. I'm going to scrape as much off this knife, oh, knife, this piece of plastic that I had laying around that happened to do the job quite nicely. And that's that. That's 10 ounces. So I'm assuming it's going to take about 30 ounces to do a mother mold of this size which isn't too bad